Hey guys, today we're going to check and see which one is a better bang for the buck, the GT350 Ford Mustang or the Dodge Challenger Scat Pack 1320. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Just wanted to go over the GT350R. Uh, as we're out there running the streets, we kind of need to know our, our competition. You know, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So I wanted to divulge what you would run into if you were on the street or the drag strip, which is what I prefer. Uh, if you ran into them, what would what would happen with your 1320 or Scat Pack versus one of those? So one of the advantages that the GT350R has is the flat plane crank. And why would they run a flat plane crank? Well, it's lighter, it's smaller, it can rev much higher as high as 8,000 RPM, and you don't have to have a thick crankcase to house it. It also uh, does exhaust scavenging, which is the exhaust pulses, and they are more in sync, so it makes it a little more efficient uh, as far as performance. And you do not have to have as complex of an exhaust manifold uh, for these type of, of setups. So basically, the, the 5.2 is a slightly uh, board and stroke version of the Mustang GT's 5.0 liter. The 5.2 liter has dual overhead cam. It's a 32 valve V8. It's aluminum block and heads and port fuel injection. There is one spark plug per cylinder. The 5.2 liter is capable of producing 526 horsepower at 7,500 RPM and 429 foot-pounds of torque at 4,750 RPM. It's made it up to a six-speed manual transmission and has a curb weight of 3,710 pounds. When brought to the drag strip, this thing was able to rip off a zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds with a standing quarter mile of 12.2 at 119 mile an hour. It also has a fuel economy of 21 miles per gallon on the highway and 14 in the city. This car also comes equipped with front tires that are 295-35R19 and the rears are 305-35R19. They are Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Now let's talk about the Dodge Challenger Scat Pack 1320. Uh, now the package I chose when I was building it was the full interior package. Uh, the price came in at $45,465. Uh, the engine has a cross-plane crank, which is the more standard style crankshaft. Um, it is a little bit smoother, there's less vibration than you get with a flat plane. And But the issue that you run into is that it's inherently larger, and it has crank pins and two axes. It's also heavily counterweighted and balanced, and all of that you have to use a heavier crankcase to hold it all. The advantage for the Hemi is the head flow. Uh, with the current, current heads that are on there, we end up with 46 more foot-pounds of torque, uh, mainly due because of the head flow and the amount of cubic inches in the 392. Um, the head flow on the Hemi heads, actually they're, they're hemispherical, but the newer versions have squish shelves. The top center of the chamber is hemispherical, but down lower, they've kind of smushed it down to more of like an oval shape if you were to look at the side with the exhaust manifold off. Um, it, it allows for bigger valves and allows it to flow up to 24% more than even an LS motor, which I know is the, the motor to go to for everybody else. And I know that's a GM product and we will get into that another day. But um, there's two spark plugs per cylinder on the Hemi heads as well, which gives you a shorter uh, flame travel and it's a more consistent combustion burn and it reduces emissions. One of the other advantages for the Hemi when it comes to fuel economy is the variable valve timing. Uh, when you're not under strain with the engine it turns to a four cylinder which uh, helps us get the better a fuel, fuel economy than the 5.2. So if you're looking for a drag car, this is by far bang for the buck uh, what you're going to be looking for. The GT350R 
is a wonderful car. It does uh, what it's supposed to do on the drag strip and in uh, like circle track type racing. So if you're looking for an all around car, that's definitely going to be what you're looking for. If you're looking just for a drag race focused vehicle, this one for the money is as good as you can get for naturally aspirated. Thanks for watching guys.